Day three of the Aramco Saudi Ladies International presented by Public Investment Fund and some fantastic shots on the Saturday in Saudi Arabia. None better than this at the par 3 11th from the American Lindsay Weaver. She celebrates her wedding in three weeks. Well, she could celebrate a hole in one on her way to a round of 71 that left Weaver at three under par. Fantastic moment from Lindsay Weaver, who will soon be known as Lindsay Wright. At three under par, though, she's a long way behind the leaders. Carlotta Seganda, who was in a share of the lead with Lydia Ko after the first round, didn't drop a shot thanks to some brilliant short game magic here at the par 4 12th. Almost made a birdie. 68 in the end from the Spaniard that leaves her at nine under par. Same hole, but this was for a birdie for Alice Hewson, who was three over par through six holes of her third round, having led the way overnight thanks to that brilliant 64 on day two. But she fought back superbly well and in the end managed to shoot under par, a 71 that leaves her at 10 under par. She'll be in the final three ball. One shot worse off is Nuria Iturios, who really got it going, managed to get to 11 under par at one stage in round three before a couple of late bogeys in a round of 68 left her at nine under par. Have a look at this bunker shot at the par 5 13th from the 18-year-old Thai teen sensation, Athia Titikan, almost holding out for an eagle three. Tomorrow she'll be seeding her place as the number one player on the race to Costa del Sol. Maybe with a third win of the year after a fantastic 65. Leaves her at 12 under par, albeit four shots back of Lydia Ko. The two-time major champion dropped a shot at the third and was at six under par. But she birded four, five, six. And then she added another one here at the par three eighth. She turned in 32 shots. And we knew it was going to be one of those days. She birdied the 10th as well. Her first and really only sign of trouble came at the par 4 12th. Her tee shot was right up against the tree. She managed to somehow maneuver it to here. We know she's got a terrific short game and she showed it. A remarkable par 4 that kept the bogeys off the card. But the birdies would soon come again at the next hole, the par 5 13th. She made another one at 14, another at 15, and then this at 17 for her 11th birdie of the day to take her to nine under par for her round and 16 under par in total. Equaling the course record on day three with a 63, Lydia Ko, the player in charge. <laughs> she has a four shot lead over Athaya Titikum. Confirmation of how that leaderboard looks. Alice Hewson alone in third at 10 under par. Alison Lee with a 67 as she continues to come back. But Co, the one to catch.